Hello everyone and welcome to episode 63 of the Stout Stitch Crochet Podcast. My name is Zach and I'm so excited to be back with you guys today. Today is local yarn store day. I love local yarn store day only because it's like an excuse to get to buy more yarn, but also to celebrate all of the amazing local yarn stores and local yarn shops. Um, I don't know why it's not called local yarn shop day. I always called it a local yarn shop instead of a local yarn store. But I guess a lot of people don't have local yarn shops, kind of like me. Um, the closest one is about 100 miles away. But I have things like Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Walmart and all that stuff. But that even Michael's and Hobby Lobby are an hour away from me. So the only thing I have in this town is Walmart. But anyway, <laughs> um, thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so excited that you are here. If you're a returner, thank you so much for following me for the past three years now um, and listening to me carry on about yarn and mental health and all kinds of ridiculous things on this channel. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I've had a lot going on in the past few weeks. It's been a while since my last video, um, just because my life has kind of been a little crazy, <laughs> for lack of a better term. But I am excited to get going on here and show you guys some of the things that have been going on. So first off, I had some lovely acquisitions. Um, this. <laughs> This past week, I guess it was this past week, maybe the past two weeks, um, Michael's had a ridiculous sale on their Red Heart um, It's a Wrap yarns. And if you've never used these before, I highly recommend it because it's a great like size one yarn. Um, it comes in really good colors. It's super soft. I've used it before and it's actually really inexpensive. Um, because normally these run for about $10, 10 to $12, I think. And for the regular It's a Wrap, you get 1,100 yards of um, size one yarn. And it is, I believe it's it's 50% 50, 50 cotton and 50% acrylic. Um, but you can make so much with 1,100 yards. So much. I got this color. Oh, I don't know if I even said what the sale was. They had these on sale for $5. I was really upset because this was the only one in this colorway that they had, or I would have bought literally all of them. Um, this color is Action. Um, but then also they had the It's a Wrap Rainbows on sale as well for $5. And so I did get some more of those. Um, these are quite a bit smaller as far as yardage is concerned. They are also considered a size one, but these are 623 yards. So a little more than half of what the regular It's a Wrap is. Um, they're 150 grams. Oh, and these are 200 grams. Um, but this colorway is Fiesta. I love it. And if you've never worked with the rainbow version of It's a Wrap, if you notice, there are different strands in there so it fades the colors in and out pretty easily. I've done a couple of things with this and I really love it. But so let's see if you if you look, there's two different strands right there and it will transition throughout to where the colors kind of flow seamlessly. I have another one of these in this colorway, so I'm excited to make something big with this. This is a uh, couture. I love these like tealy blue, gray, cream colors. This is probably my favorite one. Um, and then this one, I've actually made something with one of these before. This is in the color sea glass. I made a scarf out of one of these. And I just love that, the blues and the greens, and it kind of matches my channel colors. <laughs> um, but I thought that was great. Also, they had a sale on True Boo, which is a Lion Brand yarn, which I made my sweater out of that I wore in the last video. Um, I will link it at the end of this video so you can check it out. Um, but that is the Marzana, uh, sorry. 
but the true boo is a size three yarn um it is i think it's 100 percent. yeah 100 percent rayon from bamboo so that's where it gets the name they are 241 yards and i got mint and silver so these colors which i love because i was asked to test a upcoming project for somebody and this is the yarn that they wanted so i went ahead and got it and i can't wait to share that with you guys it's gonna be so much fun um and then also my friend macy who you've heard me talk about probably tirelessly for the past two years um who celebrated her two-year anniversary on her podcast like last week or the week before i think and i don't even know if she said anything about it on her youtube but macy happy anniversary on your podcast congratulations on all of your success you're doing so well i love it um but she released enamel pins in her shop and i will link her shop down below but they are the cutest mace of skeins pins sorry there's a glare but look at those I love it. It's in the shape of her logo, which is this spade that has a really pretty um, red and white, like ornate background and the mace of skeins across. And it's the same label that's on all of her yarn. And whenever I saw these on her Instagram page, I went straight to her Etsy shop and I got one because I had to have it. And I love supporting my friends. So besides acquisitions, I've worked on a couple of projects over the past couple of weeks. I have one finished object. I have a current whip that I'm working on. Um, and then I have some more fun news at the end of this video. And so we are going to get into that. Also, I have been doing a juice cleanse. It's a five day juice cleanse. I am currently on day three. And so I have not had solid food since Wednesday, and today is Saturday. Um, it's not been as hard as I thought it would be, and I know I'm doing this for my, like to myself, so I don't really have a right to complain about it, but um, I'm quite surprised with the results. Um, I was just feeling kind of sluggish and, um, you know, kind of down. Wanted to work on, you know, my health a little bit. So I saw that this was a good way to like detox and do a cleanse and really kind of reset things. And so I decided to do that. It's just weird because I don't feel hungry, but you're not ever chewing anything. So like mentally you're thinking, oh, I haven't eaten, but you have. And so I have to like trick myself into it um, just by reminding myself that, what I'm drinking is my food. <laughs> um, but I have two days after today left, and so I'll be able to eat solid food again on Tuesday. I'm excited to eat solid food again, although I'm really kind of worried. I was like, I hope it doesn't make me, make me sick. I've heard stories of people who have done cleanses before, and then whenever they tried to go back to solid food or whenever they went back to solid food, they did not feel very well afterwards. So I guess it just depends on what I start eating first. I have to be very conscious of that. <clears throat> so yes, if you see me drinking something, it's only juice or water. <laughs> um, now I have my one finished object and y'all, I am so pleased with this. Honestly, this is like, I said the cutest thing that I have ever made, I've ever crocheted. If you follow me on Instagram, I have it posted on there, but I was scrolling through Instagram of all places. Usually I'll scroll through Ravelry if I'm trying to find uh, a pattern or a project or something to kind of like spark my interest. Um, and I saw this come up in like my explore section and I was like, no way, that's fantastic. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to find this, I have to make this. And I found out who the designer was and I went to Ravelry and I bought it. First of all, the pattern is only like $2.50. I'm going to link it down below so you guys can make it. Second of all, it only took like two days to do. Um, third of all, like I said, it is the cutest thing I have ever made. <laughs> and so, <clears throat> I love this so much. 
It is a little crocheted balloon animal. It's a balloon animal dog. And I'm holding like this because whenever you set it down, it will, it will stand up, but it's just, it's twisted together. And so I didn't sew it into place. I don't know if I'm going to, because it sits fine whenever I just leave it alone, but whenever I pick it up, it's kind of, mm. <laughs> um, but I thought this was just adorable. I used a four weight yarn. Um, I think this was Red Heart, I'm not sure. It was yellow that I just had in my stash. Uh, and then some polyfill. It is called the, um, the, I think it's just the balloon animal dog or balloon dog animal. I don't know, it doesn't actually say, but there is also, if I show patterns from now on, they're probably not gonna be in color until I get a new printer. My color printer died. And so I'm back to my old one. <laughs> um, but yes, and this designer is by Not Monster. It's Michael at Not Monster. And I will post a link to his Ravelry. Also, he has so many other patterns, um, different kinds of balloon animals, different cute little amigurumi things, and I think they're just precious, and I'll probably make a couple of different ones as well, because I just loved this one so much. It was so easy to follow, and I'm somebody who, I don't wanna say despises amigurumi, but I don't like it because I'm not very good at it, and I've tried it so many times, and I just can't make it work. Um, and so this is probably like the closest thing I will get to it. <laughs> um, but there's that, that's my one finished object. Sorry, I didn't have more. <laughs> um, but my work in progress is so much fun and it's been taking up my time whenever I've been able to. Work has been really busy. I've only been able to crochet like a couple of hours this week. And so I'm a little annoyed, but we're getting there. This is a test that I am doing for Laura from Murphy Made, and I am so excited about it. This is her first pattern, like, come on. Her first pattern, and it's a top. <laughs> I don't even know. I guess that makes it so much easier for everything else to come after, because whenever you're designing a top, there's so many different things that go into it. Sweater designers, top designers, anyone that's making garments, like hats off to you guys for designing those things because you have to size everything. There's so many different key components that go into it to make it fit right, to make it look right. And as I've said before, I've tried designing a sweater pattern and I struggle so much with it. Um, but she has knocked this out of the park. It's great. So this is what I've got so far. I swear I'm gonna finish on time. Cause like I said, I've only been able to work on it for a couple of days, but so there's the, the round so far. <laughs> um, but I think it's really pretty and it will flatten out once you block it. But I love it so far and it's being held together with my cute little stitch markers from Yesenia. I love them. She makes the best stitch markers. I will link her shop down below as well so you guys can go and check her out. I don't know if she's had an update soon or if there's any in there, but you can bookmark it and check it out later. Um, but that is my work in progress that I'm working on and I will have that done by, what is today? At least by the end of April. I have until May 7th, I think, um, but it'll be done way before then. Also, I have a surprise for you guys. So my last video, um, was it my last video or the video before? Uh, I had my giveaway and Creations by Jax won, and I'm so happy for her. She is great. I'm gonna link her channel down below because she is just so much fun and gives off so much positive energy. All of you guys need to go and check her out. Give her a subscribe. She is fantastic. And she did like an unboxing of um, the things that she won from the giveaway and she just had the nicest things to say. She has been a supporter of my channel from the very beginning of my train wreck in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> um, or was it 2019? No, it's been three years, 2018. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and I just really appreciate her so much. And if you're watching this, thank you for always being so supportive of my channel. But 
I had hundreds of people enter my giveaway and I always feel kind of bad whenever I do my yearly giveaways for my anniversaries. It's always one big thing for one person, but I wanted to do something to celebrate some of the others that were um, following or, you know, entering the giveaways and subscribing to my channel. So whenever I ordered the Mesa Stains pen, I ordered another one so that I could give it away on my channel. And Macy from Macy's Games was so sweet that she also, in addition to the pen, sent me a hang of yarn from her spring collection and one of her iconic stickers that are fabulous. And so check that out. This is, like I said, from her spring collection. I think it just came out on her Etsy shop. It is beautiful and it is rightfully named Tulip. This is in a DK. It is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon, 245 yards. And one of you is going to win the pen, the hank of yarn, and this cute little sticker. Um, and I'm only going to leave that giveaway open for one week. So one week from today, today is the 17th. So this will close on April 24th at midnight central standard time um and to enter i want you to tell me since it's local yarn store day what is your favorite local yarn store or what is your local yarn store because like i said i love to learn about new places and support businesses so let me know down below like i said one week so April 24th at midnight, this giveaway will close. And to enter, you have to be a subscriber and you have to comment down below your favorite local yarn store. Also for everyone else, there is a code on her Etsy shop, Stout Stitch for 10% off from now until the end of May. So go get some of her yarn, use the discount code, it is great. I have been obsessed ever since she started dyeing it, and I know that you guys will love it if you don't already. Um, thank you guys so much for everything, for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure and enter the giveaway, and I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Bye.